So here to drill down on all of these stocks, let's welcome in CNBC's own John Fort, Gina Sanchez, the CEO of Chantico Global and a CNBC contributor, and Todd Gordon, Managing Director for TradingAnalysis.com and also a CNBC contributor. It's great to have you guys all here. Let's kick things off with American Express. Todd, how can they stay ahead of the pack? Uh, the stock looks great. I think they have a good valuation, trading 22 times uh, forward earnings, and they've beat expectations handily the last two quarters. Uh, Kelly, they're, they're, they restructured their platinum card, and that's preferred by travelers. And obviously, as the economy is reopening, and, and hopefully the Delta variant doesn't uh, gain more momentum, they should see a boom in that travel department. They also uh, changed their benefits and rewards uh, on that travel card. So uh, I expect AXP's performance to continue. John, do you think they have to be looking over their shoulder at the payments innovation that's taking place? Well, I, I do think they have been for a while, and uh, things like the cabbage acquisition uh, allow them entree into that space. But more, it, it's just serving that core customer uh, and, and probably not taking their eye off the ball too much with all the fintech hype. Some of it is long-term important, but not all of it. Gina, would you be a buyer of AXP here? So LP actually has a lot of tailwinds that are just broad with, with regard to the reopening. Everything about what they're doing in terms of making their forays into further fintech ventures or even just servicing their core business, um, all of those things are benefiting from the fact that the economy, even with the Delta reopen with the Delta variant, is still reopening and we're seeing such an you know, increased demand that a that AXP has to benefit. Incredible to look at that chart. A, just a straight line up into the right year to date. Let's move along and talk about Microsoft, which is hitting its own all-time high today after getting a vote of confidence over its city. The firm hiking its price target on the stock from 310 to 378. Microsoft's at 284 right now. That price target is a new street high. It's city's favorite in mega cap software. This year, it's also the third best performer of the blue chips and the best performing tech company in the Dow. What are your thoughts on this one, Todd? Uh, how do you not like Microsoft? I mean, the stock, you look at it, look at a chart. I'll go to the technicals for a second. You look at a summer log chart. The chart just goes straight up. It's not a trading stock. You just hold it. So technology led by Microsoft has been rotating in since mid-May. So Tech has come back, and it's being led by uh, software. So watch that. So, I mean, Microsoft's hitting on all cylinders. You know, it's got productivity with Office. It's got cloud computing with Azure, personal computers with Windows and Xbox. The IT budgets are coming back. Corporates are spending. And I think the work-from-home trend is here to stay. People need stronger machines and, and more capabilities to perform their tasks. Uh, fundamentally, uh, free, free cash flow of Microsoft on a quarterly basis was anywhere from 8 to 12 billion. They just bumped up to 17 billion last quarter. So really strong move there. Looking, uh, thinking to make up, make about a dollar 90 per share, which is up 30 percent year over year. Uh, again, Microsoft is another stock that just you hold. Is there anything, Gina, that could change the the huddle mentality when they report next week? <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, you look at their two largest segments. Their two largest segments are cloud computing um, and gaming, surprisingly. And, and those make up, you know, 30 plus percent each of the revenue. And so that's really where you have to look for the outlook for Microsoft. And I think it's going to be hard for them to stumble just because so many things came up. They were already on a trend uh, to grow that cloud computing segment. And then the pandemic hit and work from home. And now this hybrid work model is starting to take root. Business continuity became an issue. And all of those things actually play right to Microsoft's core strengths. Um, so, you know, if you're watching these earnings, you're watching what they're saying about cloud and gaming. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.